to that breaking news that we are continuing to follow. Monitoring a crash causing some issues on I-35 northbound, I-35 east in, uh, in Egan. We know a police cruiser involved in this crash. Pauline Lee working to get more information for us. Pauline, what do you know? Yeah, as of right now, there's really is no movement. If there's any movement, there's more law enforcement officials that are arriving to the scene here. If you take a look at that police cruiser right there, that belongs to the Egan Police Department. That's right in the median. You can see heavy damage to the roof and the driver's side. Now, uh, since the last time I checked in with you, I took a walk across the bridge just to see if I could see anything from the other side. The driver's side door of that police cruiser is actually off the hinge, so it's just resting on the side of the car at the moment. And then you look just north of that police cruiser, you see another car right in the middle there. From our vantage point, you don't see any uh, any uh, issues on this side, any damage, but on the opposite side, there's just minor damage. So things like the rear view mirror on the passenger side might be a little dinged, a little bit of front end damage, but that semi just ahead, that's got significant front end damage too. You see the the cab of the, the uh, hood of the cab, I should say, on the semi is off. It's laying on the ground right now. Um, so that middle car is faring much better than the police cruiser or the semi. Now you see that shine right Right there in the middle of 35E northbound. This is in the left lane of 35E North. That's not glaze, that's not ice, that's actually tire marks. So you've got significant tire marks on the left lane of 35E North. Now, MnDOT is saying someone, at least someone, is injured. So we're still working to learn who was hurt and how badly they were hurt. But in the meantime, they say this portion of 35E going through Egan northbound is going to be closed for, some, for a significant period of time. So if you are heading out the door this morning, you've got a couple of options for you. Traffic is currently being diverted off of Pilot Knob. Now, you can stay on Pilot Knob. You see those cars moving off to the side road there. It looks kind of like a frontage road. That's essentially a long exit road from Pilot Nam. So you can stay there. It's going to be backed up just a bit, but you can get on to Pilot. Uh, you can get on to 35E northbound from Pilot Nam and join the rest. It just bypasses this whole crash incident here before you join in with the rest of the lanes. Likewise, if you can get off the earlier exits, say um, Cliff Road or uh, any of those in between, you can make your way to either Highway 13 as an option or you can make your way to Yankee Doodle Road. That's where all the cars are coming down from that hill right there. This is the hill exit from Yankee Doodle Road onto 35E northbound. So again, this is going to be closed for some significant more, uh, amount of time. We do know an Egan Police Department, the uh, police SUV is involved in this. Heavy damage, as you can see, you've got law enforcement officials working to collect evidence, take pictures of the scene. Significant debris around that SUV as well as the middle car and the, um, the uh, semi truck up above. But we'll continue to follow the story. We've got calls into the State Patrol as well as the Egan Police Department to learn more. As soon as we do, we'll let you know both on air and online at WCCO.com. Yeah, because we still don't know how that crash occurred. No, we still don't. It was we about 5:10 yeah. this morning mm -hmm. that it started, and what are we at now? 7:34. Yeah. So we're talking about more than two hours later, and that road still closed out there. You yep. know.